Mm, I feel like you can definitely see the string though. But what string is actually gonna work with this? Like brown, purple? Nor. I kind of like the design that's going on here with the extra frizz, you know what I'm saying? Giving it some culture. Cause Black History Month, thank you. It's your girl Rebecca Joy. Welcome if you are new and if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. It's a lock style. So, in today's video, I will finally be installing my lock sprinkles. Yes, yes. I've literally had these lock sprinkles for like probably like when my hair was at like five months. And it my hair is at 10 months. So I've had these for about five months now. I'm deciding to do them now. And prior to making this video, I was looking on YouTube at different content creators and what they had to say about lock sprinkles, as well as how they installed them and whatnot, because I really have no idea how to. So I had to look up other people's, you know, videos, of course. And, you know, some of them had mixed opinions. One of them was really saying, like, how not to put lock sprinkles on thin locks because they do come out over time. I got these glass beads, and they're premium Japanese glass beads. I got these beads from uh, Michael's, and I got blue and green because I thought they were really cute. Another problem that I ran into was finding black thread. I don't know why I don't have black thread and yeah so we're gonna work with what we have even though I've heard a lot of people be like get a um get a thread that's closest to your hair color but I think I'm gonna stick with thick my thick locks and not the ends of my hair before we get into that I want to give you guys a 360 of my hair and also pull you guys a little closer so that you guys can really see the locks that I'll be working on this is it from the side. Clearly it's not gonna look like as long because I cut off my dead locks and this is the first time retwisting since then, but I am a-okay with that because I feel like they look just so much healthier. For the bottom row, I only ended up trimming the left and the right lock and not the middle two locks. So the middle two locks are like longer than the right and the left, which I think it's funny, but for some reason it just evens out. This is kind of like a trial run just to see how I like it because the point of my channel as well as my Instagram is to promote lock longevity, promote natural hair growth. So we're not trying to do anything that kills our locks, okay? So we just want to try this out and see how this goes. But yeah, let's bring y'all a little closer. Okay, so I kind of have you guys at a very angled position and I hope it works because if I get close, it's like too low. It's weird. I'll figure it out. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's do this one right here. It looks big, fat, and juicy. So this is our needle. Yeah, it's a very small needle. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like that long is good. So I'm doing this long and I did double. So I did one on one side, one on the other instead of one. I'll go ahead and tie this up. Um, I think I'm just gonna tie a knot at the bottom. Okay, so this is what we have. String, knot at the end. Just to recap, I took my needle and I strung it through all the way through and brought one side down and just had the other side, but I made sure both sides were even chopped it, tied a knot at the bottom where I wanted to end the uh, the string, 
and then I just went through one like this, went through one side, brought it all the way until it knotted. Then I strung my bead, went through the other side, went to the other side, went to the other side. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. I just want to do green, blue, blue, green. And we'll just go right under, like so. And there you go. So here we don't see the thread. That's cute. That is cute. And okay, that one went on. So here we have that. I'll just like estimate how far I want to go. And I decided on doing blue green, I mean green blue, green blue for the, for this one. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna cut the end you see how it's like up and down like that like i said like All right, so once it's at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and clip it above the, you know, right above that, so I can take that off. Clearly you see the string, because they're two different strings, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it a couple knots. Right, you that So I'll go ahead and chop it without chopping my hair. And then with this one at the bottom, I'll just chop it like a little out because you can't really see. But so we'll see how this does through washes. Yes, I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram. Follow me at LockedOutQ22. As you guys see, like, I just love how, like, you can, like, turn it like that. And it kind of looks spirally. But it also looks like, like, throughout my hair. So what I did is I took my needle, just to recap. I took my needle and I strung it through all the way through and brought one side down and just had the other side, but I made sure both sides were even, chopped it, tied a knot at the bottom where I wanted to end the, uh, the string. And then I just went through one like this, went through one side, brought it all the way until it knotted. Then I strung my bead, went through the other side, went to the other side, went to the other side. I kind of like the design that's going on here with the extra frizz, you know what I'm saying? Giving it some culture. Cause Black History Month 
thank you but thanks for staying tuned thanks for watching i hope this video helps somebody to string their own lock sprinkles as well and i hope you guys try these as well definitely let me know down in the comments if you have before what are your thoughts about them and how do you maintain them i'd love to know that as well but my next video will definitely be another hair tutorial so stay tuned for that i'd love to do something like rose petal buns or just something more creative than what I've usually been doing. So you know when that will be, 12 p.m. next Sunday. So stay tuned, subscribe for more videos like these, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.